Hi everybody, happy Halloween! It's Patch here on my modded creative Minecraft server Patchcraft and I'm finishing off the spooky ride today which is just as well because we have an awful lot of minecarts there don't we? Going a bit, bit crazy. Now in true gremlin spooky fashion I did record, well I thought I did, obviously didn't because I can't find it, the next bit of the spooky ride and that was the Dungeon of Doom. I can't find it. I can't find that recording. Don't know where it is. It has disappeared. Spooky. Whoa, that was spooky. What was that? Oh, I'll tell you, ghosts and gremlins are out. Now, what I'm going to do is show you what I did. <laughs> because footage is, anyway, I've looked all through my computer. Oh! Uh, don't touch anything, Patch. That's the problem. Whoa! Yeah, I say don't touch anything. That means don't touch anything. Uh, uh. Okay, let's 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 move into the safe bit of the dungeon. <laughs> okay, so um, I didn't quite know what to do with this little bit. I knew I wanted to do like um, cells and creepy things over there, but this was such a huge area that I thought I'd just use this bit as um, a storage kind of place. So I put the rails up, put lots of um, chests and barrels in and then just filled it with bits and pieces like the um, treasure map and creeper heads which I thought looked quite good did an armor stand with um, some chain mail on it and then here before you get to the cells got the guards the big cobwebs and then I put all um, stuff that I didn't really fit anywhere else but I wanted to to use like the stocks and the hangman's Post and the gremlins, but quite a few of those around used them before. And then I thought, right, there's this nice little space here. I'll put a table and a chair, make that a little bit of a nice seating area with all the keys on the wall, which I thought was quite funny. And then I did uh, the gremlins over here all together. Kept the skull and the um, candle up because I thought the skull candles looked pretty good. And then did lots of chains hanging from the ceiling, uh, skeletons out here. And then you got the cells. Now, I <clears throat> a huge amount of trouble with these cells, so it's probably just as well you didn't see that because it was quite farcical. <laughs> Why I was wondering of how the door would open, I was like, oh, you know. people are gonna, you're going to whiz past this in the car if this is a ride and people are on the spooky ride. You know, you'd whiz past so quickly you wouldn't take it a second thought to see whether or not that was the right distance to close or not. Um, and then I wanted to put a skeleton in them, and some of them. The, the cells are too small, too big, it's going to fit, and oh goodness me, all sorts of dramas. So this is what it looks like now that it's finished. So you come from, which I thought worked quite well, from the vampire's lair to the um, cellar through to the cells. And I put someone behind that cob, <laughs> which I thought was quite funny. And then from the cells round to the... Um, little area for seating and then all the bits and bobs so it does look very good I mean it works quite well and I did manage to fill it all up which I was a little bit more concerned that I might not be able to do that but I did and I, I think it's worked out really really well I'm quite chuffed with the whole thing so I'm going to go back to the beginning or the end depending which way you look at it and I'll see you there for a ride round exciting okay everyone we've made it back to the entry to the spooky ride i won't be doing any commentary i'll be putting a bit of music on let's enjoy the spooky ride
I think that worked really well. I'm just going to walk around because the trouble with the um, the ride is it's just so quick, isn't it? Really get a chance to see everything and all the hard work that's gone into it. But luckily, I've made videos of it, so we can just go back and see it all being created. So yeah, it's worked out really well. I'm really chuffed with it. And I know I could have done some sort of fancy track thing here. There's probably just a bit too many carts going around there. Um, so that you could switch it to this one or that way. But it's patch here. And it's more about the ride and the spookiness around it than sorting out little things like that. That doesn't matter to me. Um, so I think it's worked out really well. I'm really, really pleased with it. I think it's very scary. <laughs> There's a lot of work went into it, but I think it's paid off. And uh, it's a shame it gets a bit laggy near the lava hell pit area, but it kind of adds something to it, doesn't it? A bit of atmosphere as you, as you trundle through here. So yeah, thank you ever so much for watching this episode and this series. I hope you have a lovely Halloween and um, I will see you soon. Bye!